This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. And good morning. We are back to it. Monday morning, 5 o'clock. Hello, early risers. I'm Ray Collins, October the 23rd. Glad you're with us. And John Scalzi he is also back with us after a day off Friday. You weren't feeling well all last week, and you took some time. You feel better now, John? I do feel a little better. I absolutely do. Good. Yeah, I still don't sound so great, and I apologize <laughs> for that, but yeah, I feel better. We have across the region today, well, we've been watching it all week long last week, and now finally it's on our doorstep. That is the first significant cold front of the season, which will really lower our temperatures significantly as we head into midweek this week. Right now, it's producing a few scattered showers out in Gulf waters. We have a good chance of seeing those showers move on shore today. Uh, about a 30% chance during the morning hours and then probably an 80% chance as we head into the afternoon. And that slow moving mass of showers and clouds gradually drifts closer to us. That chance for rain showers will extend through tomorrow morning. And then finally, the front, the cooler air and the chillier winds will arrive. We'll talk all about that coming up in just a few. Back to you. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic now. A little blip there on the screen at uh, State Road 70 in the westbound lane just after the interstate. Otherwise, pretty clear in Manatee County. Farther south now into Sarasota. Problems in both directions on B Ridge. Ongoing construction there. That's around the Beneva and McIntosh area. And then farther south, all clear at 502 on your Monday morning. As you've heard all morning, a Tampa neighborhood is living in fear. Three people have been shot and killed in the same area recently. Reporter Ashley Yor was, has more on last night's vigil. This is a memorial for 20-year-old Anthony Naboa, the third victim killed in Seminole Heights in the last two weeks. Tonight, neighbors gathered together, walked the streets, lit candles, making sure a light is shining on his life along with the other two victims. It hit very close to home. Really close to home. Guided by candles and the lights on police cars, people who knew these three victims and even more who didn't walked together. Their steps connect the three spots where 22 year old Benjamin Mitchell, 32 year old Monica Hoffa, and 20 year old Anthony Naboa were found murdered, all within a 10 block radius in Seminole Heights. I feel like there's no excuse for this. No one should have to go through this, honestly. And it's just sad. Family members in unthinkable pain. My heart breaks for this family. I absolutely just can't imagine what they're going through. Naboa's father speaking out. Yes, they kill him just for nothing. Yes, for clone. Yeah, he was nothing. Like, he's not a human like. He's nothing. Right? And stepping right on his blood right here. Police officers walk right alongside neighbors, listening and reassuring. But fear is still gripping this community. Afraid, you know, to go out by myself, afraid for my girlfriend to go out on her own. I mean, and I think these numbers are fantastic. Law enforcement still warning people not to walk alone and asking for people to come forward with even the smallest detail. As we forget those who trespass against us. Tonight, prayers are for the victims, their families, and to get the killer off the streets. They're waiting for him to hit again. Well, I'm not. I'm wanting him to get caught before anything else happens. Nobody else needs to die. That was Ashley, your reporting. Police are warning people to not walk alone at night and also to carry flashlights as well. An apparent terror plot was foiled over the weekend in Miami. An undercover FBI operation allegedly snuffed out an ISIS-like operation. 53-year-old Vincent Solano is accused of planning to blow up the Dolphin Mall. Undercover FBI agents supplied Solano with a hoax bomb. Agents say they found evidence online that Solano made pro-Islamic State videos, but no indication he was directed by terrorists. He is scheduled to appear in court in Miami later on today. A shooting scare at Indiana State University left one person injured overnight. The man was carrying a gun that went off in his pocket accidentally. Campus police sent a group of texts to students warning them to steer clear of certain areas. An ISU student was shot in August, and according to students on social media, they've received several notifications in recent months of shots on or around campus, leaving them worried. It's bad people everywhere. Not saying that whoever had the gun was a bad person, but you know, you never know who has this story, who has, you know, what somebody going through. Now, the man with the gun is not a student and is expected to make a full recovery. Back in this area, hundreds gathered last night to honor the life and recognize the service of a Sarasota County 
Fire Battalion Chief. Bill Koser served over 25 years before his death last week on a motorcycle accident while on vacation in South Georgia. Our Sammy Chodo was there. Initially, the, the family wanted a small gathering. Small was not an option Sunday as hundreds gathered to remember and celebrate the life of Sarasota County Battalion Chief William Koser. One thing we can all learn from him is brotherhood. He knew the true definition of brotherhood. And he lived it every day. Many spoke about Koser, sharing memories, laughs, and even some tears. Billy would demand that you do your best. To my brothers and sisters out there, he would demand that you push each other because that's what he did. We can only hope to be half the firefighter that Billy Coaster was. Sitting alongside Coaster's family and colleagues were his fellow members of the Biker Association Widow Sons. The president of the Knights and Eagles Division, David York, knew Coaster for almost a decade. Just one of the best guys that you would ever want to know. I mean, they keep saying how he would just give you the shirt off his back, and if you were down and out, he would literally do that. The community has lost a, a great man. We have to remember the good things. We have to remember um, the smiles that he gave us also. So that's, uh, that's kind of what we tried to do here. The tribute was filled with fire service tradition, and one of those traditions, radioing the last call, or what's also known as the Five Fives. Chief Koser was supposed to retire in March. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Sammy Chido, your Suncoast News. Volunteers with the Suncoast Reef Rovers did their part to clean up the water around Venice over the weekend. The group met Sunday for their annual cleanup of the South Jetty. Any certified divers were allowed to take part in the dive portion, and anyone wanting to help haul trash onto the jetty were welcome there as well. Venice police also helped by, by stopping the fishing in the area. That's a good thing. The Suncoast Reef Rovers work to care for and protect our coastal environments. This event's been going on since 1998. It's very important, as you can tell, from the amount of uh, underwater debris that we bring up. All of that is stuff that gets caught in with the marine uh, biology, and it's very important that we get that stuff pulled up out of the water so that they're not digesting it and getting tangled inside of it. The Reef Rovers also meet annually to clean up the Venice Pier as well as organize quarterly beach cleanups at service club parks in Venice. A popular spot on the Sun Coast has finally reopened, at least partially. As of this weekend, the Venice Fishing Pier is back open, welcoming sightseers and fishermen. The pier was damaged during Hurricane Irma and temporary repairs have since been completed. The lights, however, still need to be replaced, and until that happens, the pier will be closed and locked each evening at sunset and reopened the next morning. Replacement of the deck and railing is scheduled for the spring of next year. Today, the Ringling School of Art and Design and the Sarasota County School District will host an art teacher's retreat at the Ringling Museum. It's designed to reinvigorate educators' teaching while inspiring their art and art integration skills. Teachers create art as they learn new skills and strategies for inspiring their students. The event will continue today and then tomorrow as well. And Venice Theater's main stage will perform the Rocky Horror Picture Show. They'll begin a five-day run this Friday. The theater encourages audience participation and will be selling goodie bags to help audience members take part in the traditional Rocky shenanigans. It runs Friday, Saturday, and Halloween night, all seats are $25. For more details, call the box office at 488-1115. That came out in 1975. It came out in all seriousness. The movie was so bad, it became a cult classic. It did. Have you seen it? Oh, several times, Have yes. Have you really? Yeah, it comes on every Halloween. Yeah, it's pretty good. The uh, main actor in that play was a very famous Broadway, or not Broadway, but a West End actor in England. Tim and, Curry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's some great voices in there. And I've never seen it. It's odd, yeah. though. So be prepared. Well, I've had friends for years ago, and they dress up and they throw things, and it's a, it's a cult classic. That's really when it took off. Yeah. Yes, it did. It's kind of interactive movie. It was it, odd. It is. I know. Yeah. Can't imagine. I can't think of another one quite like it. That's I can't that kind of cult following. Yeah.
Uh, we have across our area, yay, a cold front headed our way. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. Yeah, your map looks very active right now, too. All right, also first alert traffic and plenty of smiles and high fives at the annual Special Olympics bowling event in Bradenton. And later in the hour, stay with us in the latest on the killing of four U.S. soldiers in Africa. It's 510, and you're watching Good Morning Sun Coast and ABC7. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills. Wow! Stop staying and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything, but with Couch Coat, my couch is always protected, looking as good as it did the day I bought it. Get your Couch Coat for just $19.99. And it's reversible in brown and cream, like two Couch Coats for the price of one. Order right now and you can double your offer. Get a second couch coat. Just pay a separate fee. Order right now. Call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat. Call now or go to couchcoat.com. So call 1-800-943-0710. That's 1-800-943-0710. Call now. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. First alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So looking at our current air temperature of 76 degrees, you'd hardly know that a cold front is in the vicinity. And you won't know it until that southeast wind turns more to the northwest. When you see that wind shift, you'll know changes are in store. We have across the region right now a dew point of uh, in the 70s, mid 70s to low 70s, most everywhere. And good chances of rainfall, cloudy skies out there. Winds are eh, somewhat breezy at about 10, but they'll get breezier still as that cold front lands on our doorstep. Across the region, 75 Arcadia, Wachula, Parish coming in at 76, Bradenton at 76, O Sarasota, Venice at 77, Northport at 76, and Punta Gorda comes in at 74. Lots of rain showers carving its way right now into the Ohio Valley, but certainly all through the deep south on up into actually into Canada. And then another little line of showers that you see moving through parts of the northern tier. Those two systems will team up together to produce for us a big change in our temperatures. Right now, we've got some kind of prefrontal showers that are producing some yeah, fairly heavy pockets of rainfall out in Gulf waters. But the tendency for these showers is to kind of fall apart just a little bit as they get closer to our shore. 
By far, the heaviest of the rain is going to be located to the north, but in our neck of the woods, you see some of those heavier showers could at times make their way on shore during the afternoon hours, bringing us pockets of some heavier rainfall. But in general, this is going to be a, a light to moderate rain that will occur through the afternoon into the evening hours. Could see a little bit of a spritz along the coastline during the morning. That's not out of the question. About a 30% chance of daytime morning showers, followed by about twice that during the afternoon. There's our frontal boundary with some cooler air back behind it, kind of a double-barreled low-pressure area. This front will advance, kind of team up with this front. This front comes through by tomorrow morning. So our last chance for rain showers will probably be through here around this time tomorrow morning or a little thereafter. Then as that front presses southward, it'll get a reinforcing shot of cooler air from the north as this front kind of melds together with this front. And that brings us the cooler weather. That happens, well, you'll notice a little bit of it tomorrow afternoon, but really by Wednesday, you'll see it reflected in the extended range forecast. With nighttime lows in the 50s, daytime highs will be in the low 70s. So some pretty nice changes coming our way. Cloudy today with rain, breezy wind, and then cooler midweek period. Forecast future cast showing those showers moving on through and then clearing the area Tuesday with some clearing skies during the second half of Tuesday and the colder air with a little cloud cover coming through on Wednesday. The forecast calls for a south-southeast wind at about 15 knots, increasing to south at about 10 during the evening. So watch for that, boaters. That's going to bring you a moderate chop with two to four foot seas. The wind's a little bit stronger during the afternoon. And here it is. Look for a 60 to 80 percent chance of showers today. Heaviest rains to the north. Tomorrow morning, the skies clear. The cooler weather starts moving in. And by Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday, daytime highs will be comfortable and sunny. Nighttime lows cool and crisp, right? Very strong finish. Thank you, John. Hundreds of athletes showed off their bowling skills over the weekend. Our Bart Delarmi was at the annual Special Olympics event and shows us what the games mean to competitors and their families. When she was born, they told me she would be a vegetable. She would never walk or talk or do anything. She has grown and, and flowered so much from the experience here. She, it makes her feel like a person. of anything that like anybody else is. Give, give them a chance and they're just out there just to have fun and to meet everybody just like anybody else would be. It brings you pride and joy and everything. It makes you feel good and special. You just have a heart. You just keep on trying. Never give up hope. It's like if you give up, get back on there and keep on trying. Right here. Special Olympics is just all about enjoying the time that you have together and being with friends and family and just being yourself. Everybody's equal here. If we don't get first place, at least we tried. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter about getting um, a ribbon. All that matters is we came up and we got to play like other other counties did and at least we tried and we brought our game and that's all it counts. Each and one of us is special in our own way. Some people may have more needs than others and other people may not have any, but it doesn't matter. We can still play no matter what our needs are. If you want to enjoy time with friends and family, that all you have to do is sign up and just be who you are, not anybody that somebody wants you to be. Great group. Let's check first alert traffic now on this Monday morning. Pretty quiet. Manatee County will slow down in the eastbound lane of State Road 70 as you head toward the interstate. Otherwise, pretty clear. Still some problems on Bee Ridge Road in both directions around uh, McIntosh and Beneva. Be aware of the construction barrels all over that road. An ongoing project for years now there. And South County all clear at 519 on your Monday morning. Still to come in today's Tech Bites. Pre-orders for the Apple iPhone X start this week, but one analyst says production of the new device will be slow at first. And the next half hour, thousands of Floridians have lined up to receive food after Hurricane Irma, but politicians are criticizing the way it's being done. We'll explain those stories and more when we come back. 
So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota flooring. Looking for carpet? Look no further. Manasota Flooring has smart strand carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Manasota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Manasota Flooring today. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1-800-715-0835. That's 1-800-715-0835. 1-800-715-0835. Enjoy fine wine, craft beer, and delicious foods, all while supporting a great cause at the 16th Annual Suncoast Food and Wine Festival presented by Publix, Saturday, November 11th, from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota Polo Club. Taste wines from around the world and sample cuisine from the area's finest restaurants. All proceeds benefit a variety of local charities and Rotary Club projects. For tickets and information, visit suncoastfoodandwinefest.com. My name is Greg Simone, president and founder of Care to Try. I'm excited to announce that this year we're hosting our inaugural 5K and one mile race. In addition, we are attempting to set a Guinness Book of World Records for the most amount of wheelchairs in a race. This is a call to action and we need your help. We'd like to set an environment where everybody's accepted. So please come out and join us in Wheel Unified. The event will be hosted on November 4th, 2017 at Lakewood Ranch CrossFit. Please go to our website, caretotry.org, where there are details for race sign up. Now, we had some fun this weekend at the uh, Sarasota Celtic Music Fest and the Braveheart 5K Run. Those are two brave guys on either side of me wearing kilts in the wind. On the left in the striped shirt is Steve Christie, who helped organize the event. He's former Buffalo Bills kicker years ago, legendary kicker, leading scorer in Bills history, in fact, lives now in the area. And John Gale on the right there painted his face, and he had fun as well. Gale force winds didn't to blow those kilts up. I wore shorts just to be safe. There's our, uh, <laughs> our social media contact pages. Feel free to check out our pages, uh, mine and John's, uh, Ray Collins, ABC7. Plenty of fresh content we've put up there from the past weekend, including some shots from that uh, race as well out at uh, Benderson Park. And don't forget, you can also update your app of ours. Go to uh, the uh, app store and update it, because otherwise you won't have the latest version. You want all the breaking news you can find, also weather updates and news as well. Go to WWSB or My Sun Coast. If you're an Android user, don't worry, you'll get the new version automatically. Welcome back, 523 right now. There are glowing reviews about the new Google smartphones, but there is one report, though, that has uh, a big problem they talk about. ABC's Kendis Gibson and Ariel Reshev have details. In today's Tech Bytes, a new problem for the Google Pixel 2XL smartphone. On top of the complaints about muddy color and grainy images, reviewers are now reporting screen burning. That's when a ghost image remains on the screen, and it seems to be happening after just a week of use. Google is investigating. Well, Apple has problems with its new iPhones and its newly released iOS 11 operating system. Supply chain leaks have revealed interest in the iPhone 8s is so low that production is being cut in half. And while pre-sales for the iPhone 10 begin this week, supply is severely delayed. KFC's tasty Twitter game has been uncovered. A user noticed KFC only follows the five former Spice Girls and six guys named Herb. This one pretty clever. They tweeted 11 herbs and spices. I need this time to process this. KFC's secret blend, 11 herbs and spices. Those are your Tech Bites. Tech Bites, brought to you by Zeljans. Needles, essential for vinyl, but maybe not for people with rheumatoid arthritis, because there are options. 
like an injection. Zeljans XR, a once daily pill for adults with moderate to severe RA for whom methotrexate did not work well. Zeljans XR can reduce pain, swelling, and further joint damage even without methotrexate. Zeljans XR can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, and other cancers have happened. Don't start Zeljans XR if you have an infection. Tears in the stomach or intestines, low blood cell counts, and higher liver tests and cholesterol levels have happened. Your doctor should perform blood tests before you start and while taking Zeljans XR and monitor certain liver tests. Tell your doctor if you are in a region where fungal infections are common and if you have had TB, hepatitis B or C, or are prone to infections. Needles, a must for vinyl. But for you, one pill a day may provide symptom relief. Ask your doctor about Zeljans XR, an injection. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today. A place for mom. You know your family. We know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352. That's 1-800-290-0352. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half, nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. The ABC7 First Alert Hurricane Guide arms you with vital information when severe weather threatens the Sun Coast. Visit mysuncoast.com and download yours today. This half hour on Good Morning Sun Coast, Ivanka Trump hits the road. We'll tell you where she's going and what the topic is all about. Also, a gay pride festival in Las Vegas, the largest outdoor event since the tragic shooting earlier this month. And, oh dear, an update on some tiny deers in the Everglades. Those stories more right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. 
And good morning. It is Monday, October the 23rd. I'm Ray Collins. Glad you're awake already and enjoying the show. John Scholes, he's got a very active weather map this morning. Looks like Monday's off to a, uh, a humid start, John. It is. Southeasterly wind flow is kind of breezy, and that is pumping in the humidity. So we're still in the 70s for dew points. And it does feel a little on the eh, sticky side out there, I guess. As we head into the uh, afternoon, though, it's going to feel more like it's on the wet side because we do have a line of showers that's gradually drifting closer to the coastline. Some places will see a little bit of sprinkles or light showers this morning, about a 30% chance of that, particularly in coastal regions near Manatee County, maybe on the Anna Maria, Holmes Beach. Around in there, you might see a little few brief showers. Otherwise, I think the bulk of that rainfall will be moving on shore during the afternoon. Now, no worries, it's not really all that heavy. But it is accompanied by a lot of cloud cover. I think it'll be kind of a dreary, wet afternoon. With daytime highs that still will be in the 80s, it's going to be a warm one today and a breezy one with about an 80% chance of afternoon showers. But it is part of the cold front that will whisk away this cloud cover, shift our winds to the northwest, and draw down some significantly cooler, and I think for a lot of people, more delightful and seasonable air. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. All right, thank you, John. Topping our news this half hour. We're learning more now about why U.S. troops were patrolling Niger in the first place. It turns out then President Obama deployed hundreds of our soldiers to support French forces there. Reporter Serena Marshall has details of that recent fatal ambush. A final kiss, a final goodbye, flags folded for his children. The 25 year old father, husband, and special forces soldier. One of four killed in Niger earlier this month after an ambush by ISIS pledged militants. To his community, he was known as the Wheelie King. To America, his name and his death embroiled in politics. I didn't know there was a thousand troops in Niger. Confusion over his death during a mission a senior intelligence official said was seen as so low risk. The soldiers did not use armored vehicles or have a drone overhead. At this point, we have conflicting stories. Uh, we want to be able to get the full, accurate story and get it right. The president not discussing the ambush. Mr. President, do you authorize the mission in there? Thank you, Peter. Thank you all very much. On Fox Business Network, focusing on the call, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson criticized. I was so nice. I was, look, I've called many people. And I would think that every one of them appreciated it. I was very surprised to see this. The day after Sergeant Johnson was buried, the president claiming a political win, tweeting wacky Congresswoman Wilson is the gift that keeps on giving for the Republican Party. Wilson, a longtime friend of the Johnson family, responding. This is going to be Trump's. Benghazi, Trump's Niger. While the political fight continues, Johnson's family and the White House await the results of the ongoing investigation. Sergeant Johnson's widow, Maisha, will be speaking out for the first time on Good Morning America later this morning, speaking about the father, husband, and soldier she loved. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. Time Sergeant Johnson's final farewell included more than family and friends, fellow soldiers, and local residents paid their respects, as well as uh, over the weekend in Hollywood, Florida, as police officers and deputies escorted the fallen hero's body. Many lie in the streets to say a final farewell to Sergeant Johnson, who they called an American hero. This man, he basically has no more tomorrows in order for us to have today's. Uh, we're here to honor this uh, hero, Sergeant Johnson, today to show our support for him and uh, for giving the ultimate sacrifice to our country. Johnson leaves behind a pregnant wife, a son, and a stepdaughter, as well as a large extended family. On a lighter note, thousands of runners laced up for the 42nd annual Marine Corps Marathon yesterday. The People's Marathon, as it's called, is the largest in the world that does not offer a monetary prize for top finishers. But for most, it's a chance to challenge themselves. It brings them back year after year. There are runners who just came to run a good course. There are veterans who take part, some of them wounded, who say this race means so much more to them. My first marathon, I've lost over 100 pounds. I wanted to celebrate. Go Marine Corps. What I do, I do cycling. I can't do a lot of other stuff, so this is my outlet. They don't usually allow these bikes, my type, and the, and these events. I can't go anywhere else that they'll allow me to. Very nice. The winner took uh, the, the title in two hours and 25 minutes. That's about five and a half minutes per mile. He came in second place last year. 
From jogging to cars, let's check the roads right now. Pretty quiet so far in Manatee County this morning. A little blip there on the screen at State Road 70, uh, just uh, east of the interstate. Also, Bee Ridge Road looking pretty locked solid right now in both directions around McIntosh and Beneva. So be aware of Bee Ridge Road right now. Farther south now on the maps, looking like a build up there on the uh, 681 northbound as you head up toward the interstate. Be aware of that thing as you come up on the Comus. Otherwise, pretty clear at 535 on your Monday morning. President Trump is honoring a retired U.S. Army captain. Gary Rose will receive a Medal of Honor today for his bravery during the Vietnam War. Rose risked his life several times during combat operations while serving as a medic. He's credited with saving the lives of 60 wounded personnel during four days of combat. Ivanka Trump will hit the road today to sell parts of her father's tax reform plan. The first daughter will visit Philadelphia today for a town hall on the issue. The forum will focus on how tax reform will help middle class and working class families. It comes as President Trump continues to urge Capitol Hill to pass tax reform by the end of the year. Gay Pride Parade celebrations were held locally and nationwide over the weekend, including in Las Vegas. That city is still recovering from that tragic shooting spree. Parade attendees honored those lives lost earlier in the month. The Pride Parade is the biggest outdoor public event since the mass shooting on October 1st. And while people admitted that the thought of it happened to cross their mind, they said it wasn't enough to stop them from showing up. I don't want to live my life in fear. I want to live my life and have, and have fun and, you know, be with everybody. We've increased the number of officers that we are uh, including at the, at the parade tonight, as well as the festival all weekend. And we have a security company uh, that most of them are former military or, or former law enforcement agencies. At the front of the parade was a group of people holding 58 candles, one candle for each person lost on October 1st. Their tribute also included signs that read, Vegas strong and our lights will never go out, along with a special performance dedicated to the victims. Those in support of President Trump's Build the Wall campaign will start seeing options for that immigration wall now. Eight border wall prototypes will go on display in California. Customs and border protection agents may pick several winners or none at all. It's said to news release that the prototypes will inform future design standards, which will likely continue to evolve to meet U.S. Border Patrol requirements. In a matter of minutes, a town in central Louisiana was underwater over the weekend. This is their second large flooding in just over a year. Many say they're still trying to bounce back from last year's flood. About two dozen families were taken to area shelters. Rescued approximately 75 families, 75 people, about 25 families. We had uh, several elderly that couldn't walk, that we had to actually load on boats to get them out. Pressure. You know, thinking about last year, some people haven't got back in the home from the first time, and it's still the same process. More than 30,000 people are without power there, and several shelters have opened to house evacuees. The One America Appeal concert held over the weekend raised $2 million for hurricane relief efforts. Look at this. All five living former presidents appeared together for a hurricane relief benefit concert in Texas Saturday night. An evening originally planned to celebrate the 20th anniversary of President Bush's uh, library at Texas A&M transformed into an opportunity for all five former presidents to raise money for hurricane victims. All of us on this stage here tonight could not be prouder of the response of Americans. Let's all work together and make America still a greater volunteer nation. The heart of America, without regard to race or religion or political party, is greater than our problems. In a nod to national unity, they have dubbed their effort the One America Appeal. The charity has raised more than $30 million for hurricane relief. President Trump also made a cameo in a taped video message where he praised the former president's work as tremendous. Florida officials have passed up more than a billion dollars worth of flood assistance after Hurricane Irma. Thousands have waited in long lines for their chance to get food assistance cards. This program is passing out food assistance cards, also known as EBT cards, and they're being given to people dealing with home damage or lost income due to the hurricane. This past weekend, thousands gathered in Orlando. 
We've only had a few incidents, so uh, you know, when you think about the size of the crowd and the traffic around here, it, it you know it could have been worse. So we're you know, we just encourage them to be patient, and we'll get them through as quickly as possible. Some Democratic politicians, including Senator Bill Nelson, have criticized how the aid was passed out. As of late last week, the state said it had processed nearly 700,000 applications from those who applied for help. Federal wildlife officials are relieved to report that Hurricane Irma did not wipe out a herd of small endangered deer found only in the Florida Keys. According to a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service survey released last week, almost 1,000 deer survived the storm. Irma made landfall September 10th near the National Deer Refuge, the only place where the 30-inch tall deer are found. That is small. The storm is responsible, however, for killing 21 deer. The herd faced potential extinction last year during a screw worm, screw worm, he said, infestation. Officials say the deer seen in the refuge since the hurricane appear to be healthy and active. You can't tell. That's great. 30 inches. It's not tall. No. It's small deer. Tiny deer. Very little teeny short deer. Oh little, dear. little legs. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes. I guess the cats made it all right, too, huh? From uh, Key West. The, uh, oh, yeah. Hemingway House. Hemingway House cats. Yeah. I hope right. so. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's great news. Uh, across the region, we have some great news for those people who have been waiting for some cooler weather. We'll talk about that in a sec. Also, ahead, first alert traffic. And in certain parts of the world, many people are still dying from air pollution. We'll have the new numbers that might surprise you coming up next in Health Smart. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. This is an important medical announcement. Talcum powder products from some of the best-known brands have been linked to ovarian cancer. Any woman who has used a talcum powder product and has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that women with long-term use of talcum powder, including baby powder for feminine hygiene, can increase the risk of contracting ovarian cancer. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to women who should have been warned about the risks of ovarian cancer with long-term use of talcum powder. Call the Talcum Powder Hotline. If you or a loved one used talcum powder and were diagnosed or died from ovarian cancer, you must call now. Call 800-570-7599. 800-570-7599. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Attention blood thinner users. If you or a loved one took Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The widely prescribed blood thinners Xarelto and Pradaxa have been linked to a number of dangerous side effects, including internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney bleeding, stroke, brain hemorrhaging, and even death. If you or a loved one suffered any of these injuries after taking Xarelto or Pradaxa, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the menu. Manufacturer. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If you or loved one took Xarelto or Pradax and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. If you're between 50 and 85 years old, call the number on your screen right now for free information on how to save your family thousands of dollars. We're Family Love Plans, and we've been helping families just like yours for over 30 years. The average funeral today can cost up to $10,000 or more, but the most you'll get from government benefits is just $255. How will your family pay the difference? At Family Love Plans, we can help you and your family. 
Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam and your plan can't be canceled. Better still, your rate will never go up and your benefits will never go down. Get your free information about our senior plans. Just answer a few simple questions and receive approval right over the phone. Call 1-800-707-3608. That's 1-800-707-3608. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at an air temperature coming in at 76 degrees. Dew point value coming in at 73. That's not too terribly different than anything we've seen for the last couple of weeks. Temperatures in the upper 70s, dew points in the lower to mid 70s. That's been pretty typical. We do have a fair amount of cloud cover out there and humidity at 91%. We have a southeasterly wind flow at about 10. That southeasterly wind flow is what is in advance of a cold front sinking south that'll whip our winds around to the northwest and draw down the cooler air. So when you see that wind shift, you know things are about to change. 75 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia at 74, 75 Mayaka, Parrish at 76, so is Bradenton and Sarasota. Northport coming in at 75, Venice at 77 and 74 degrees at Punta Gorda. We have a, a line of showers wrapping up around a low pressure area that's heading through parts of the heartland and then a frontal boundary extending through the deep south out into the near area waters. All of that is one half of what will change our weather significantly. The other half is kind of still back here in the northern tier. That will eventually team up with this cold front that's really still back toward the panhandle. But this prefrontal rainfall, that's what's in store for us today. That prefrontal rainfall moves into the region, at times bringing us a drizzle or a passing shower. At other times, a more moderate rain possible, maybe even a pop or two of lightning is not out of the question. But this will be light to moderate rainfall for most of us. And the total rainfall accumulations with the passage of this line of showery activity will be uh, on the order of an inch or less. So it's not going to be a heavy driving rain, but it will be around kind of consistently throughout the afternoon. Now, a lot of the heavier stuff that you see out here in the Gulf, that will tend to dissipate as it gets closer to shore. The frontal boundary itself kind of sinking down toward the panhandle, just about entering into the panhandle now, moves across the state of Florida and then into our neck of the woods by this time tomorrow morning. It'll move through here tomorrow morning with its last gasp of showers and then the wind shift. That'll occur during the morning hours tomorrow, followed by some clearing and another reinforcing shot of cooler air that arrives here Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So it's kind of a one-two punch and that will bring us that chilly weather for several days in a row. Today, cloudy with rain, breezy wind with that front approaching expect to see those winds picking up out there in the waters of particular interest i would think to mariners and then cooler midweek watch the extended range forecast you'll like it for today i just uh, reassert for boaters that those winds will be picking up to about 15 knots bringing you a moderate chop so watch for that today otherwise we look for that good chance of rain today clearing tomorrow afternoon and then look daytime high 75 for Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday looks nice. Nighttime lows in the 50s. How about that, right? Open the windows. All right, John, thank you. Checking our traffic right now. First off in Manatee County. A little blip there on State Road 70 in the westbound lane approaching 301. Otherwise, all clear in Manatee County. Farther south, look at Bee Ridge Road. That's, that's pretty busy for 548 in the morning. Ongoing construction issues there, you believe. Not a, not a sale at Denny's or anything. And let's check uh, farther south and uh, no problems there at 548 on your Monday morning. In this hour's Health Smart, about one in six people worldwide who die prematurely could be the victim of pollution. That's according to a new study by a British medical journal. It says about nine million deaths worldwide two years ago were linked to pollution. The study shows that air pollution if by, is by far the biggest culprit, followed by water contamination. More than 90% of the victims were in low to middle income countries. Despite the ongoing Affordable Care Act, the number of uninsured Americans is now at a three year low. A new Gallup poll shows 12% of Americans do not have insurance. The number of uninsured Americans fell to a record low under Obamacare, but starting this year, the number began to rise again. 
The uninsured rate remains well below its peak of 18 percent. That happened four years ago. Florida scientists are studying the genetic makeup of those who make it to 100 years old to develop new drugs that could delay or even uh, reverse age-related diseases. According to a statement from the Scripps Research Institute, scientists from the Florida campus will take part in a five-year study which will focus on individual genetic differences that could contribute to new therapeutic approaches targeting the aging process itself. That $9 million grant will let them study people 100 years or older that are healthier than their middle-aged counterparts. The number of U.S. residents over 65 is expected to double over the next 20 years, adding urgency to the search for new healthy aging strategies. Still ahead, your local news headlines and third time's a charm, Justin Timberlake returning to the Super Bowl for the first time since the Janet Jackson debacle back in about a few years ago. Stay with us. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Dot com. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1-800-715-0835. That's 1-800-715-0835. 1-800-715-0835. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. Sarasota is the first city in Florida to be recognized as an age-friendly community, and we're going to show you why. Watch Suncoast View all this week at 4 for Age-Friendly Week. See why the world recognizes our home as such a great place for people of all ages. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Plenty of rain on our doorstep. We'll have John's forecast next. First, there's a shot 
of uh, downtown Sarasota. Taken from our tower cam in the Rosemary District. More weather coming your way in a few seconds here. 5.54 as you wake up now on this Monday morning. Here are the top headlines on the Sun Coast this morning. Hundreds came out last night to the Shriners Temple to celebrate the life of Sarasota Fire Battalion Chief Bill Koser. He was months from retirement but died two weeks ago after a motorcycle crash while on vacation in Georgia. A Suncoast dive group helped clean up the waters around the Venice jetties over the weekend. This is an annual event for the Suncoast Reef Rovers. And some art teachers in Sarasota County will take part in a two-day retreat that starts today. It's in conjunction with the Ringling School of Art and Design. Justin Timberlake will make a return to the Super Bowl halftime stage in a few months. He made the announcement last night on Twitter in a comedy sketch with Jimmy Fallon. This is his first time headlining the show since 2004 after that high-profile wardrobe malfunction with Janet Jackson. The Super Bowl is in, in Minneapolis on February the 4th. And some are saying, hmm. if he can come back, why can't she come back? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know the answer to that. Did, were you watching when that whole thing happened? Uh, I was, actually. Were you? I wasn't sure what I saw. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it, I'm sure it'll be a good show, especially, yeah. you know, since there's so much writing on it, right? I do think that was planned, by the way. I do, do think it's not an accident. I think it was a publicity stunt. I don't know. Either way, it certainly brought a lot of publicity. <laughs> that it did. That it did. Yeah. And investigations by CBS. 556, more of uh, John's uh, rainy forecast today, right? It's going to be rainy, and it's going to be cooler in the next yeah. few days. That's going to be the nice thing, I think. More of that, more local news after this. Glad you're with us.